If you're noticing a change in your bank fees, you're not alone. The new Durban Amendment has consumers thinking twice about using their debit card. If you're noticing a change in your bank fees, you are not alone. Banks, as well as everyone else, is feeling the pressure of the new Durban Amendment. The ideas behind the amendment was that if we force the fees to be lowered by law, then merchants would be able to charge less for the things they sell to consumers. Dr. Gary Kelly is a finance professor at the University of Southern Mississippi. The notion behind it may include that the government thought consumers are paying too much for these transactions. On October 1st, the Durban Amendment put a 21 cent cap on all interchange fees, which is almost half of what banks were collecting from transactions. The fact that you're taking money away from banks that they've become accustomed to having, they would like to replace it. Some banks are enforcing new monthly fees on personal checking accounts, and one region's customer is speaking out. They sent me an email and a letter um, that they were changing my monthly fee. Patricia Fowler has been a region's customer for more than 15 years. Now I'm having to pay a $10 a month fee plus $4 for using my debit card. According to Regions.com, the way to avoid a monthly fee is to have at least one payroll or government direct deposit of at least $500 or a fee. $1,500 average monthly statement balance. Banks don't want to give up the income. So that means that consumers are going to, to foot that bill in a variety of ways. I'm actually going to switch banks because I'm not paying $14 a month to use my money. From the government reducing interchange fees to banks making up for lost revenue. Before you swipe your card, figure out just how much it's costing you. For Hub City TV, I'm Mallory Pullen.